Hi everyone, welcome back to Live Darts here in Manchester and we've got James Beaton. James, just been out on that stage, what was that like playing in front of over a thousand people? Absolutely unbelievable, one of the best experiences of my entire life, to be honest, you know, I've had a brilliant year, BDO, PDC wise, and I've been looking forward to this ever since I was announced that I was in it, and to go out there, have 100 average and beat some of Dave's quality, you know, it means everything to me. Is that just a sign of things to come, do you think, playing in front of crowds like that? I hope so, I certainly hope so, like you say, I'm getting used to playing in front of big crowds now, I've had a good experience of it this year and I absolutely love that out there, that wasn't a case of me being under pressure, that was just a case of me enjoying it and being a practice for like you say, with Michael Van Gogh and Vincent van der Voort, that's what dreams are made of. Since the last time we spoke to you back in Port Talbot, I think it was, how's it all come along with Sim and everything like that, because that was the day you signed for Sim and what's the journey been like? Absolutely brilliant, amazing for me, like I say, when I signed and all that, I wasn't sure how it was going to go. And like I said, they've been absolutely amazing with me. Support, you know, always keeping in contact with me, which is really, really good thing for me. And you know, the support, you know, like in the last development tour of the year in World Championships, Billy came up. He was with me the whole weekend. He made sure I was okay and things like that. It was just it keeps your mind at rest when you're playing. You know, when you're when you're playing, really. Is that sort of the one negative this season in terms of you didn't make the latter stages of the World Championship for the JDC? Yeah, definitely. Like I say, I went out in Gibraltar and felt good. I'm always feeling confident, and I didn't make the. And I'll say I got through my group, and it's no excuse. You know, it's no excuse. You know, I'm not off making excuses, but I won the group. I didn't drop a leg, and I had two and a half hour, three hour break in that heat, and it, it, it really, you know, I'm a rhythm player. I'm really good. You know, I'll, I'll take anyone on the world, but it, it sort of cost me a bit. But like I say I missed doubles, so I can only blame myself really. But like I say I, I got I moved on quickly, which is something I'm good at. You know, there's just too many events now to dwell on. You know, on, on poor defeats, really. Highlight the nine dar. Oh, without a doubt, like I say, to, to be a nine dar at 16 in the PDC. You know, in my fifth, fourth, fifth weekend the PDC, to be a nine dar, uh, and in that game got me in the World Championships as well. They were one of the best feelings I've ever had in darts, and like I say, it, it was the first of many, really. You know, absolutely made up. Q score in January. I'm guessing, looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, well, I say I, I was certain on Q school, and then because I've started well on the BDO this year, I'm in the top 100 in the world. But obviously, with all the things going on now in the BDO, who knows whether there's going to be a BDO? You know, who knows? So I'm not sure. I think we'll, we'll see how it goes after the worlds, the BDO worlds, and if it, it carries on, then I might give Q school a, a, a wide berth and just carry on the development tour. But like I say, if if the things out of the BDO that's not guaranteed to be a worlds of the year after, then yeah, I, I'll be going to Q school without a doubt. Is that a concern as a player to the BDO side of it? What is going on right now? Oh, without a doubt. Cause like I said, the BDO's brought my game on. I've said this, so I'm sort of going to about it. You know, it's brought his game on. It's made him really who he is now. And like I say, I've already booked a lot of events. You know, me, me and Sim have sat down. We've booked a lot of events for next year. Slovakia, the Dutch Open. And now because of a new rule that came out last week, got levies and all that, they're now not sure whether there's going to be events going to be ranked or not. And But when you paid money in your hotel, like you sponsor money, you know, that, that's, that's you know, something that's not good, really. So... Like I say, I hope it gets sorted out, but like I say, it's bleak times for the BDO, it really is. Is there a genuine concern that the Worlds at the O2 doesn't happen? I asked you yesterday, you know, by a friend on message, I said, nothing would, nothing would surprise me now. The way it's going, you know, we can, you know, day in, day out, there's more statements, there's more bad things coming out from the BDO. And it hurts me to say that because I got on really well with the people in charge. But like I say, if there was no Worlds now, it wouldn't surprise me if it was called off last minute. That's my, you know, that's my response to that. Just looking at it, it just seems an absolute mess right now. Is there an easy answer or an easy fix? I know you're only a young lad, but from a player's opinion, what's the general consensus? For me, it was hard for me to comment because I haven't been doing it a couple of years, but from what, all I want to do is play darts, you know, compete with the best, you know, the, the Richard Vinci, Wesley Harms, regardless of whether they go to PDC, that's all I want to do, travel the country, see countries and, and, and improve as a dart player, that's all I want to do really, but like I say, I think there was a big concern about the future of the BDO, and well, like I say, with the new statement that came out yesterday in the WDF, I think there was a big, big, big concern with the BDO and it frightens me because, like I say, it'll be... PDC or nothing, and that, that, that's good because it's the best money, the best quality. But like I say, the BDO is where you learn to win. So, like I say, I, I'm worried for the BDO. I'll be honest. If it wasn't there, is there a massive hole then and a massive void for youngsters like yourself that maybe they can't all afford to do the development tour and stuff like that? So is that void then a huge loss to the sport? Oh, without a doubt, Phil. Without a doubt, mate. Because like you say, you look at you've got the JDC and then it's either straight to development tour. So it can be having playing 13 year olds, and then all of a sudden, if you become too good for that, you're then playing. I see Bradley Brooks is playing the pro tour. There's no learning for someone of 14, 15 to go and play men's darts at a good level where you pay £20, they pay for three, four pounds That's not there. And like I say, I listened to a few of Barry Hearn's interviews, and, and the PDC do need the BDO. You know, the Glenn Durant story this year has been absolutely amazing. And you know, without the BDO, there wouldn't be, you know, a Glenn Durant in the PDC now. So, 
like I say, I think the BDO needs to stick and the PDC need the BDO, you know, so fingers crossed, you know, it gets sorted out. James, absolute pleasure. We'll let you get back to everyone here in Manchester. Thanks very much, mate. Cheers, thank you.